Please listen carefully. Um, thank you so much for holding the, uh, the forum this evening. This is actually the, the third one that I've attended. Um, I've been to ones uh, during other elections, and it's really interesting to have the opportunity to come out and hear about poverty issues. Uh, and I'm sorry that I was not able to make it around to, uh, to all of the tables tonight, but there were such great conversations going on, it was hard to, uh, hard to be able to, to leave them. Um, certainly the NDP has always been the advocate for making life more affordable for families and I know that everybody uh, in this room and uh, frankly in Ontario has been feeling the squeeze. And uh, the tables that I were at, things always seem to come back to health related issues and they were certainly very very prevalent in, in the, uh, the discussions that I heard. Certainly some things that we're going to do, we're going to put more money into frontline health care because that is where it's needed. Um, we're going to include uh, to cut ER health wait times in half and we're going to open 50 new 24-hour family health clinics. That's the feet on the ground that we need. Hiring more nurse practitioners and we know we need to support families caring for the ill with the new caregiver tax credit. Doctors need to be attracted to our communities, especially to underserviced communities and uh, we're going to forgive their student debt. So tonight uh, you'll hear my liberal opponent say that she supports many of the same values that both you and I do. And for 11 years they had, they had time to do something about these issues and nothing had happened. And we need to be able to trust somebody to deliver on promises. You know, the, uh, the budget, we hear often about uh, the fact that we didn't support the budget. That's right, we did not support the budget because it had 70 promises in it. And the past budget had three promises in it, in it that were not were uh, were not delivered upon. Um, so you know you need to uh, you need to look at the people that you believe are going to you can trust to live up to their promises. So please take that into consideration as you cast your ballot, and I respectfully ask for your support on June 12th.